Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Starting this week, we are going to produce once a week a video for new Linux users or for users who want to try out Linux and they never had experience with it. Don't worry, of course, I'm going to continue making videos about Arch Linux and other distributions and window manager, desktop environments and many other things. But at the same time, I would like to actually open up the Linux world also to new users and also to users who have no idea about Linux but would like to try it out. So this video is just an introduction to this new series, which will start next week. Next week, we are going to start with an overview of the whole Linux distributions, starting from the main distributions and to the various forks, so that you can have an idea of how the Linux world is structured. This will help you better understand why there are so many Linux distributions. And most of all, it will help you decide in which direction you want to go. Sometimes if you want to try out a new Linux distribution or you are interested in trying Linux for the first time, you might be drawn to the graphical interface of the distribution itself. That means there are distributions which are offering KDE, which is one desktop environment. It's the graphical environment that you are seeing on the display. Some of these distributions are offering GNOME, some of them are offering SFCE and so on. There are many, many, many graphical environments for Linux and these are not to be confused with the underlying of the distribution. So with time you will realize that the distributions actually are using different systems for packaging software. That means in Linux normally, most of the time you will install software from a repository within the distribution itself. Unlike other operating systems like Windows or Mac OS, although in the last years they also have their own stores, in Linux this is existing since many, 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 many years. So you can basically install software from many repositories which are managed centrally in one place. That's the big advantage of Linux, because when you update the packages, you're basically updating the whole system. However, how distributions actually are managing this packaging system varies between distributions. Now, for new users who have interest about Linux and want to learn more, this is very important then to decide which direction you want to go. For example, Ubuntu, which is coming from Debian, has its own method of packaging software. Fedora, on the other side, which comes from Red Hat, has another system. Arch Linux as well has another system for packaging software. So with time, and if you are interested to learn more about the Linux operating system, you will feel actually more and more which is the distribution that suits you better. It's not anymore about the graphical environment because actually in Linux you can make any distribution look like the way you want to. KDE is the standard graphical environment for Kubuntu, which is the derivative of Ubuntu. But KDE can be installed on many other distributions. So it's not about the graphical environment. It's more about the packaging system and how the system works underneath. Now, if you're new to Linux and you never used it and you don't actually care so much about learning it, for these kind of users, we will have a specific distribution which we will touch on in the next videos. And I will show you how you can install this distribution and then also how you can export your data from your old operating system like Windows or Mac OS into your new Linux installation and how you can use it. Of course, not every piece of software written for Windows or Mac OS is available on Linux, but I can assure you that for the most part, you will find a free alternative in the Linux world. So whether you are new to Linux and you never used it, or you're new to Linux, but you are interested in learning more about it, there is going to be something for you in the upcoming videos. So as I said before, in the next video, we are going to have an overview on the whole Linux distributions in general and see how actually it's grown with time. We are going to then move forward and pick an easy distribution for Linux starters, install it on a new computer, export data from an old system and install it into the new Linux installation. Linux is a great operating system also if you have old hardware that you don't want to throw away. For example, if you have an old Mac or if you have an old PC that you would like to use still because it's maybe still in good condition, you can still install Linux on that and it will run surely for many years to come. You might have to replace maybe the battery if it's a laptop, but software-wise, it will run still for many years to come. So that being said, let's not forget one of the biggest assets of Linux, it's its community. The Linux community is huge. And whenever you have a question or there is something that you do not understand, you can definitely jump into a forum and there will surely be someone ready to help you out. If you have questions, you can also drop them here in the comments or on Twitter and we will answer as soon as we can, but rest assured that there will be someone in the community that will be there to help you out. This is gonna do it for this introduction video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this idea. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you very, very soon in the next one.